Amen. Praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. Sisters, praise the Lord. Brothers, praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord. Welcome to Sunday morning. Welcome to Sunday morning and, and uh, prayers on Facebook. Welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Everybody praise my God. Praise the Lord. 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 He is Lord, He is Lord, Amen. He has risen from the dead, Jesus Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ, you are Lord, you are Lord. You are Lord, you are Lord, you are Lord, amen. You have risen from the dead, Jesus Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ, you are Lord. I say you are Lord, you are Lord, you are Lord. You are Lord, amen. You have risen from the dead. You are Lord. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ, you are Lord. You are Lord. You are Lord. You are Lord. You are Lord, Amen. You have risen from the dead. You are Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ, you are Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord, I love you, Lord, Lord, I love you, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Abba, Father, Abba, Father. Abba, Father. Abba, Father. Oh, Abba, Father. Abba, Father, Lord, I praise you, Lord, Lord, I praise you, Lord, I praise you, Lord, I praise you, Lord, Lord, I praise you, Lord, I praise you. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you, Lord. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you, Lord. I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. I say thank you, Lord. I say thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. 
Marie, Hallelahiba Mahale. We Hallelahiba Mahale. Jehovah, Jehovah, you reign, you reign, you reign. Almighty, you reign. My Father, you reign, you reign. I say, you reign. My Father, you reign. You are lifted up above what I go. You are lifted up above what I go. You are, you are, you are, you are lifted up above what I go. Be lifted up above what I go. I say, Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name, mighty warrior, you are great in battle, Jehovah is your name, Jehovah is your name, Jehovah is your name, Jehovah is your name, my warrior, great in battle, Jehovah is your name. I praise you, and I praise you, oh Lord. I praise you. And I praise you, oh Lord, in my life. I say what you are doing one more time. I lay my hands in praise of your name. <coughs> and I lay my hands in praise of your name. Father Lord, we are here this morning. We thank you for who you are in our lives. We worship your majesty. We honor you. We give you praise. We give you thanks. <coughs> we honor your majesty, Father. Invite your friends as you come in. Invite others. Let them hear the word of God and be healed. God does not do in vain. We will not do in vain in the name of Jesus. My dear Father, be in our midst this morning. Those that are coming, those that are viewing all over the universe, let there be deliverance in the name of Jesus. Let there be changes in the whole universe, in the whole seven continents of the world. Healing, we are asking, Father, be our God. Be our God. Give us a perfect healing. That it do something new in every home. Those that have lost their, their loved ones, oh Lord, that are so, so, so down. Console their souls in the name of Jesus. My Father, many are looking up to you in this time, in this era that we are in. Economy is down, businesses are lost, marriages are being dissolved, people are divorcing. It's hard to make two ends meet. Father, restore the land, restore the land. And as we continue this morning, be in our midst. Do something new that will remind people that you have authority and that you have a finance over the issues of the universe. So shall it be my Father, so shall it be my God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Minister of song, you want to sing some worship songs before we start? Are you there? Are you ready? Hello? Hello, are you on? Amen. He touched my life with his hand, my life changed. 
He touched my life with his hands. My life remained the same no more. Jehovah touched my heart with his hand. My life changed forever, forever. He touched my home with his hand. My home changed. He touched my home with his hand. My home remained the same no more. Jehovah touched my home with his hand. My home changed forever, forever. He touched my home with his hand. My home changed forever, forever. He touched my home with his hand. My home remained the same no more. Jehovah touched my home with his hand. My home change forever, forever. He touched my soul with his hand. My soul change. He touched my soul with his hand. My soul remained the same no more. Jehovah touched my soul with his hand. My soul change. Come bless thy Lord. Come bless thy Lord. O ye servants of the Lord. O ye servants of the Lord. O Sabbath night. O Sabbath night. In the house of the Lord. In the house of the Lord, lift up your hand to the Holy One. Come bless my God. Come bless our God. Come bless our God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Everybody in the whole world, praise the Lord if you have young. Somebody praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. Every soul watching, praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Everyone that are looking for salvation, praise the Lord. Everyone that the Lord has answered your prayers, praise the Lord. I say, praise the Lord, 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 praise the Lord. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, wherever you are. People from Italy, people from Nigeria, people from Africa, Europe, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Everybody, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome again. Welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. This is our worship forum. Even though they lifted it, the Lord instructed me to keep going. There must be a reason. There are yet some people to be healed. There are yet people to receive the blessings of God. There are yet people to be delivered. There are yet people that can go to church in the morning and still be part of me. But it won't matter. Just come as the Lord blesses you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If you're coming from Europe, from Asia, from Africa, from North and South America, from Antarctica, from Australia, you are welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. What a blessed Sunday to be with God. Amen. Amen. I'm going to read my Bible because I'm waiting for people to join, but not many people are here. Maybe they went to their own home church. It's okay. We can always look at it and make use of what we have today in jesus name amen let's let's take the word of god before we go into prayers we need that word to be blessed amen he said his word this is a word of testimony 138 of book of psalm verse 2 god says i honor my word the word of promise over my name you see how powerful god is 
the love he has for us. He honors his word, the promise keeper over his name. Hallelujah. That is our God. It's not a man. Amen. Come with me to the book of Revelation. Open your Bible wherever you are and read along. Revelation 12 and the last verse, verse 17. And the dragon, who is the dragon? The Satan, the devil. It could be a man, it could be a woman. A woman, you hear me? Devil, dragon, has blood in his system. It's a person like you, like me. Only that we are not one. I'm not one. I don't want to be dragon. I don't want to be Satan. I don't want to be the devil that will turn the work of God upside down. Whoever is doing that is a dragon. It says, and the dragon was wrapped, very upset, <laughs> because he was tossed down from heaven when he was misbehaving. He wanted to be God over the Lord who created him, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Ah, what issue can become dragon in your life? What is that issue? They're going to be dethroned today in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you have the faith. And the dragon was wrought with a woman. Amen. Amen. And went to make war. Look at what dragon is doing in the whole universe right now. He's making war with every soul. Otherwise, why would the economy crumble? Why will many jobs be lost? People are still trying to find their level. They're still trying to find their way. Why will homes be broken? Why will many souls be lost to an infectious disease that is curable? We've had many occurrences in the past. No soul, no lives were lost. And what does it take to, for the Lord to discipline this dragon? Because he, he made war with the remnant, with those of us that are children of God. And we're still alive in the land of the living. Which gave the commandment of God, listen, oh, for this dragon not to have power over you, you have to keep the commandment of God. Uh, it says his commandment is unlimited, especially the Ten Commandments from one to, to ten. Thou shalt not make any strange image, no strange God, thou shalt not bow for them. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not covet. What about five commandments? The fifth one. You shall honor thy Lord and thy God. You hear me? and respect their father and their mother so you can live long in the land ah do you lack respect do you know one thing not just your father and your mother that you can respect you know you by respecting your children hey man or somebody you're leaving a legacy that they need to respect anyone around them if they see you being arrogant you're full of it. Ah, you don't even respect yourself to respect others. How can you be able to respect God that you cannot see? When the devil is looking for whom to kill, to steal, and destroy. Hear me right. And he, he made war with those that are still keeping the commandment of God and they have their testimony in Christ. They did not bring, they did not build their hope, their trust, their faith in the things of this world, in powers of this world. They make God their testimony. Hallelujah. I don't know who is your testimony this morning. You don't even have to rely on a pastor to kill, to have your own testimony. A pastor is a woman like you, okay? And God can strengthen you from nowhere if you keep the commandment of God. Let's keep going. 
And Romans 35, Romans 8, 35. Romans 8, 35. Romans 8, 35. The book of Romans 8, 35. Open the books of Romans 8, 35. Romans 8, 35. Romans 8, 35. Amen. And we're going to start from verse 35. Romans 8, 35. And it says, let me open it quicker. Romans 8, and we'll start from verse 35. It says here, listen, you see what the dragon did in the book of Revelation? He made war with the children of God that are left, that are not destroyed. And we are, and we're not going to be destroyed by any illness or diseases. No evil powers, no principalities can destroy us. Enough of the work of powers. Coronavirus, your reign is over. The Lord has destroyed you in Jesus' name. They claim there will be a second wave, but we shall survive it all. Because dragon is trying to make war, to make war against the living children of God, who have their the testimony in him. Amen. You're going to tell me your testimony before we leave. What is your testimony? That you will live by his grace. That he will be your provider. That he will restore your home. He will restore your marriage. And on and on. When we go into prayers. Amen. Romans 8, 35. And it says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation? Shall distress? Persecution? Have you been persecuted? <laughs> Hallelujah. Famine? Poverty? Just name it. Nakedness. We don't have nothing. Perils. Perils of this world. Coronavirus? A sword when people have been destroyed. <laughs> As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, Ah, in every situation, in all situations, in all circumstances, you are the king of kings. In all situations, in all circumstances, you are the king of kings. Amen. In verse 37, it says, Nay, in all these things, we are more than a conqueror. Amen. We are winners in the Lord. For I am persuaded, I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, hallelujah, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, can separate me from the love of Christ, can separate me from my healing this morning, can separate me from me being rich in the Lord spiritually, mentally, physically, health-wise, and financially. And in all area, in the name of Jesus, God will restore us all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Come with me to the first book of Corinthians 8, 9. Chapter 8 and verse 9. We're going into prayers. First Corinthians 8, 9. And it says, They take heed now that we have been strengthened this morning. It says, you, me, every one of us, he want us to take heed. They take heed, lest thy by any means, the power you're receiving this morning, the deliverance you're receiving this morning, the grace of God you're receiving this morning, the new beginning you're going to get this morning. Be weary. List your liberty from today. Be set off from illness and diseases and sorrow, poverty, premature death, disappointment and failure. You hear me? Disappointment and failure. Huh? Spiritual wickedness. You can't pray. You can't fast. You can't even say amen. You've lost hope. It says, take heed now that you have been set free from all mentioned. You hear me? From aforementioned, he said, 
Be aware that your liberty from today in Christ should not become a stumbling block. Do not become a power that will destroy those that are still struggling, trying to find a level with love with the Lord, trying to make ends meet, trying to get healed from coronavirus, trying to be able to pay their bills. Beware, because you've been set free from all those things that have crumbled the whole universe, the whole four corners of the seven continents of the world. Beware. When you are set free, you walk with somebody and set somebody free by his grace. Let them know your history in the sense that your testimony, how the Lord changed your life and turned things that were supposed to destroy you and for you to, to, to for God, your God, to, to just try and be your helper and to destroy them. Amen. You hear me? Do not become a stumbling block for the weak. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And for us to wrap up right now, let's go in the book of James. James 3. We're going to read from James chapter 3. We're going to start from verse 3. And we're going to read to 6. James 3. You have it open? Amen. Amen. And it says, James 3, 6, I mean 3 to 6. James chapter 3. It says, Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. And it says, Even the tongue is a little member of the body. And boast and great things. <laughs> this is the tongue of men. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindled. The tongue. And verse 6 said, I'm reading for, I just read 5 and I'm reading 6 to wrap it up. And the tongue is a fire. Ha! A word of iniquity. So is the tongue among all our members, the members of your body, from your arm, from your feet, from your head, from your eyes, from your nose, from your neck, from your stomach. This tongue is deadly. From today, if you want God to visit you and God to change your stories, breathe your tongue. Use it only to pray, to bless. Avoid cursing. People are going to push you to that level. Beware. And the tongue is a fire, verse 6. A word of iniquity. It will cause you to sin. Iniquity. So, is the tongue among our members that it defiled the whole body and seated on fire the cause of nature and is yet on fire of hell. Hey, God forbid that my tongue will become like a hellfire. What about you, sisters? What about you? If you go to verse 10, it says, out of the same mouth, the, your tongue, blessings and cursing. My brethren, these things are not to be so. Hmm. Have you decided to change your ways? I have decided to change my ways. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. The world behind me, let it go behind you. The world, the cross before me, the world behind me, the cross before me, the world behind me, the cross before me. No turning back, no.
turning back. What is your story? Let's go into prayers. I want you to confess whatever can hinder the power that the Lord has granted for you today to be an overcomer over the dragon. And any part of your body that will cause you to sin, confess it right now and plead the blood of Jesus for a new beginning. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Unrighteousness cannot live with Christ. It's with holiness that we can be overcomers. When we are a living testimony of God, that is how we can become an overcomer in the Lord. Begin to pray. God is God. My God is no man. My God is God. God is no man. My God is God. My God is no man. He has done it again. He will do it for you. God is God. My God is no man. God is God. God is no man. I say God is God. My God is no man. He will do it again. Father, visit us this morning. I plead the blood of Jesus <clears throat> on me and the hearers. Purify us and make us over. Make us whole again. Let us become a living testimony of your name in the name of Jesus. Father, arise and shine in every corner of our lives. Daddy, arise and shine. Arise and shine. Jehovah Jireh, arise and shine. Do not give power authority. Do not give principalities authority. My Father, arise and shine. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shama, arise and shine. Elohim, Father, arise and shine. Let us have a new beginning in you as we pray this morning. Let there be deliverance from this dragon. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Go back with me to the book of Revelation 12, 17. The dragon made war against those who keep his commandments and testimonies. How can you survive this dragon? Begin to pray and ask God that he should dethrone this dragon in your life. And so your testimony in the Lord can be intact. Ah! so that you'll be able to be a keeper of the gate of the house of God. A keeper is that somebody who does the right thing, who honors God, as God will honor you back in return. Tell Papa God to fight your battle and let this power of the dragon and his strain in your life, in your health, in your economy, in, in your marriage, in your life, in your business, in your trust and love for God, let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. 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 In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Say, Papa God, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now, go back to with me. To the Romans 8, 35, 39, through 39. He said, nothing can separate you, not even the angels from the love of Christ. Remember, dragon has tried because you are a keeper of the commandment of God. You do the right thing at the right time. You are not part of those who destroy the whole universe. You are not part of those who destroy the land. You're not part of those who destroy the four, corner, the four corners of the seven continents of the world. I want you now to pray for restoration. Health of the community. Health of every home. Health of the continent of Asia. Restoration of the continent of Africa. No more killing. No more destruction of what we cannot do. We cannot create a soul. Why are we destroying? Why do we want to, to perpetuate the work of the dragon? He was dethroned from heaven. And now you want to gain 
the strength in this land huh? is not going to survive because the Lord, as he was destroying heavenly places of God, in the heavens of God, he will be destroyed on earth in the name of Jesus. Ah, it's waging war. We need God to restore the health of our nations, to restore businesses, to restore finances, to restore economy, to restore our faith in the Lord, to heal from coronavirus and any form of all those infectious diseases, not just coronavirus. May the Lord restore the whole seven continents of the world and nothing should buy, no dragon, no power. They should all be dethroned. They cannot separate us from the love of Christ, the healing that we are going to be sustaining this morning. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. I love you, Lord, and I leave my voice to worship you. Oh, my soul, rejoice, rejoice, my king, in what you hear, make it a sweet, sweet sound in your ear, make it a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Father, restore the land, restore nations. As I pray, restore those in the hospitals, the sick of these infectious diseases, coronavirus, and many, many others. Dethrone the power of the dragon and his, and his accomplices, the powers and principalities of this world. Jehovah, not, do not allow us to go in vain this morning. Do not allow me. Do not allow me. Do not allow me, Papa, to go empty-handed. Father, do not let us go empty-handedly this morning. Hear our cry. God of love, hear our cry. Do something new in our lives. Restore our health. Restore our economy. Nothing should separate us from that testimony. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Jesus' powerful name, we have prayed. Amen. Now that you have been strengthened by the grace of God, what should you not do to sustain your stability in the Lord, your restoration, health-wise, financially, socially, economically, maritally, I say in every area, spiritually, what can you do? 1 Corinthians 8, 9, it says, do not let your liberty that you sustain this morning in the Christ, do not become a stumbling block because you gained the power to this morning. Let that power be sustained positively to embrace the weak and not suppress them. To embrace the poor and not chastise them for being poor. Isn't it enough that this coronavirus chastised even the kings of this world? destroying the leaders of this world. So what are you going to tell the weak? That they don't have nothing and they've been poor, they're homeless. What about the orphans of the universe? No father, no mother. Are you going to use this power to destroy them? You need to support those are weak. Pray for God to sustain that power in you to be able to save a soul. And then it will save your household. Begin to pray. Pray and surrender on Calvary. Surrender this morning. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Everybody pray in his name. Tell him to be your Alpha and Omega. Tell him to help you do the right thing among men. Tell him to make you a fisher of men. Tell him to equip you for the work of salvation. Tell him to empower you for greater heights in him. For the restoration of people that are less fortunate for the restoration of the world, for the restoration of those who need you, for the restoration of people who are crying for help. Don't pass them by. Like the trader that was caught with the thieves and they, 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 he was left half dead. 
guess who passed first? Begin to do your prayers, but hear me. <laughs> who passed first? The Levites. Amen. A pastor passed first, and then the Levites. And they were all rushing. I don't know where they're going. Maybe to go conduct service. What is your service? The best service. Is it not to save a soul? You can be in a church and a pastor forever. It's the work you do that you will be able to account. The work you do to save a soul is what counts. And they pass. The river, the lever. Those who have been given authority to save souls. Those that they believe they are the anointed for the work of the salvation. They all pass the man by. See who waited to take care of him. A good Samaritan. Be a good Samaritan this morning. Use that power in you to become a good Samaritan. Helping the sick in your neighborhood. Even those you know they are your enemies. And they're looking for your downfall. Still be positive. Help them to see salvation. Preach the gospel. Father, give me the strength to do these things. Even at the face of defeat. Ah! My Rahipa, let me become an overcomer. In the name of Jesus, give me the strength. The strength for people to know you live in me and I live in you. Give me that strength. Give me the power. In the name of Jesus, to proclaim you the power of evangelism. To save one soul from destruction. From the dragon itself. To let them see salvation. You once told me. You said as many. As can save one soul. You said you will give them a free ride to heaven. It's not again saying father. It is real. Those who have ears. Let them hear this morning. You said whoever. Will save a soul. You will give them a free ride to heaven. Do not let your anger. Override your judgment. For the work of salvation. Even those who offended you. He commanded. He said. Forgive them. Don't be keeping crap. Oh yeah yesterday. It did this. Seven years ago it did this. The Lord said. Give them the chance to offend you. Seventy times seven. Four ninety. Make it five hundred times. The meaning. Learn to forgive and let go. Because people are going to keep forgiving. They're going to keep attacking. They're going to keep offending you. Do not keep your spare time for crap. You're documenting, you're keeping a diary. Use your time wisely with God. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Even when you have your offering, what did the Lord say? He said, keep it. Leave your Present your tithe, your offering, leave it at the temple, in the altar. Go back and settle with those who offended you first. But adventure, if they don't listen, you've done your best. You see, the eyes of God, he sees the whole universe. Nothing is hidden. You remember, in the book of Isaiah 65, 24, it says before you open your mouth, before you say a word, he has heard you. He has answered. He knows what you're thinking right now. You can hide. You can hide from me. I mean, who might be like you? You can hide from God. Pray that this liberty of yours today, you use it wisely. Father, help me to use my liberty in you every day wisely. And give me the strength, even if I don't have a soul that is willing to be saved, but adventure. Save me and my household from the wrath of this dragon and let us win. Help us win our salvation in Jesus' name. And to wrap it up, it says in the book of uh, 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 James chapter three, excuse me, I said three to 10 uh, to six, it's six to 10. The tongue is a fire, ha! It's a tame your tongue. Hey, sisters, brothers, are you ready to tame your tongue today? Are you ready 
to tame your tongue from today. Are you ready? And will you allow your tongue to be a destroyer of your blessings? Remember the blessings you got this morning. And pray for the sustenance, empowerment from above. It says the dragon, he wage war against those who keep in the commandment of God. That from today, you are a keeper of the commandment of God. You have your testimony in the Lord. And it's sustained for life. Amen. Not only that, he told you this morning that nothing can separate you from the love of God. Not even the angels. And these are the angels that they serve him day and night. You see the love of Christ for you? Are you going to embrace that love and tell him to make it permanent? And the liberty you got this morning, pray for sustainability of it. Are you going to be sustaining the liberty and helping others through the work of evangelism? Some will say your mouth stinks. <laughs> Do you care? They may say you have mouth odor. Hallelujah. You're going to let them steer you away, make you upset, so they let you lose track of what you should be doing in the lord <laughs> oh my goodness cover your mouth use your mask <laughs> you still preach the gospel amen don't be upset they've done worse to those who who were before us our forefathers who were working for god and lastly tame your life ah how things not just your tongue Things that are not acceptable to God. Lion. Begin to pray against it. Destroyer of brothers. You are the tribune. You separate. Where, where there is love, you come in, you come in. Uh -uh. You like to tell tales. And you want it for attention. And it leads to destruction of souls. Ask God to, today, you surrender it all. I surrender all. I surrender all. Unto thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. I surrender all. I surrender all. I surrender, I surrender all unto thee, my, my blessed Savior. I surrender all. Tell you that you surrender your life to Christ this morning. Your home, your marriage, your health, your finances, your job, your businesses. Your home, your children, your bloodline. Father, help me. Help me. It's not the amount of work that we do for the work of salvation. It that matters. Is doing the right thing before you, keeping your commandment. You say, if we err in one, we destroy everything else. Ah. By your strength, by your power, let us be healed. Breathe me in, not just me. Breathe my children. Tongue, my eyes, you know, this eyes. He said, if you will make, let you sin, he said, plug it, plug it out. No, you'll be blind. Do you know the meaning? Shift your focus. If you see something, fatal, affection, attraction, hey, oh, this sister is so beautiful. Don't imagine getting in their pants. You have sinned. Hmm. If you see a man looks tall to you, handsome, and you let your eyes, that's what he's saying, plug it out, shove it, look somewhere else, move away from temptation that will cost you your salvation. Are you listening? Me, I didn't say go plug your eyes or because it's getting you to sin. No, I did not say that this morning. I said, shift your focus. Shift your thought. Make it acceptable before God. 
Think about the things of God that are acceptable, which are all proven in the book of Galatians 5, 22. You hear me right. Faith, love, patience, endurance, long-suffering. Hallelujah. Which one do you practice? Ask God to help you this morning. Ah, even your thinking, your brain, ask God to make it acceptable. Don't think about how you're going to destroy, how you're going to mingle among brothers and sisters and separate them and cause chaos in marriages and destroy homes. Ah, if you do that, change your ways from this morning. Change your ways. There is time. There is opportunity at the Calvary for you this morning. What is your story? Is there a situation that caused you to be behaving ungodly? Drop it at the Calvary. What is in your luggage this morning? Bring it. Drop it in the Calvary. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus against your mishaps and restoration of your life. Complete restoration from today in the name of Jesus. Jehovah. Jehovah. Because you live, I can say tomorrow. Because you live. All sorrows are gone, and now I know you are my future, and life is what I live in, just because you live, because it lives, because it lives, because it lives, I can face tomorrow, because you live. My fears are gone, my illness are gone, my poverty is gone, and now I know you own my future. And now my life is a living world because you live. Thank God. Begin to praise the name of Jesus. Begin to say thank you, Father, as we round up. Begin to say, thank you, Father. Begin to say, blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of my God. My God, you is worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift our holy hand in one accord. We are singing, blessed be your name. I say, blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of my God. The name of the Lord is a strong tower running to it this morning. The righteous running to it. And they were saying, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous running to it. And they were saying, Father, it shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me, it shall be permanent. It shall be awesome. It shall be mighty. What my God has done for me, it shall be permanent. That it make every blessing we obtain through you this morning make them permanent. And I pray for the seven continents of the world. I pray for continent of Africa, Asia, Europe. I pray for the continent of Australia. I pray, Father, for South and North America. Daddy, I pray for Antarctica. If our adventure I miss a continent, oh Lord, bless every corner of each continent and let be deliverance. Change our stories and let our life be live on today. We surrender this morning. Embrace us again and give us a new start in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship, of the Holy Spirit be with me, be with you, be with all of us now 
and forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Make God your temple. Not necessary to live in the house of the Lord. Churches. That's what we repeat it as temple. But make your soul God's temple. And so you can live. And God can live in you now and forevermore. Join me for Watch Party. It is well with you and it is well with me. And somebody praise the Lord wherever you are. Praise the Lord. 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 Save a soul and God will save your soul. Peace. Have a good one. We jo join me next week. Same time, 11 a.m. New York time in America, in Nigeria, Africa. Join me, 4 p.m. In Europe, join me, a before 5 p.m. In Asia, join me, 13 hours more. So it probably is midnight right now. Amen, it's midnight. It is well with you. It is well with me. Shalom. Bye now.